Now for this part of the question, we're given the graph then of y equals f of x and asked to sketch the graph y equals the mod of f of x. So what's this going to look like? Well, what happens is that all the y values that are negative, that's the points below the x-axis on the graph of y equals f of x. That'll be these points starting from here, all the way up through here, down here, and just to here. These points here become positive. That is that you get a reflection of this part of the graph in the x-axis. But this part, because it's got its y values positive, that's just going to stay exactly the same. So if we do that transformation, this is what we get. Okay, so I've mirrored just this part of the graph in the x-axis, and you can see it here. And then the part of y equals f of x, this part here, just stays exactly the same. So if I remove that y equals f of x partially, then just leave the dotted graph behind, you can see we've got y equals mod of f of x then as this graph. Now we've got to write on the stationary points, okay, on y equals the mod of f of x. And one of them is still going to be the same as it was before, the point p, minus 3, 0. But this point down here, this minimum point q at 2, minus 4, is now mirrored in the x-axis to this point up here. And so the coordinates of this point are going to be 2, 4. So you should have that marked on your graph then. And so there you go. There is the graph then of y equals the mod of f of x. Now if you're unsure of these transformations of graphs, then you can always Look on my website, there's tutorials that show you all these kind of transformations. Okay?